Hello everyone! Welcome back to Time Now Plays Pokemon Uranium! I know the last episode was an extra long episode. I was, was not thinking it would be that long. But today, I'm going to try to keep it short. It looks like right now, what we need to do is go and meet Professor Bamboo and learn how to uh, learn how to catch a Pokemon. I guess that's what we're doing. So I'm guessing we'll be over here. Oh, not over here, but around this way, maybe. Yep, there is Professor Bambo. Hello. Hey there, Time Now. I want you to show... I want to show you and Theo how to catch a Pokemon. I don't even remember the voice I used for Professor Bambo now. I'm so sorry, guys. So... Can you get him? He should be in his house. I think he was southern. That's the voice I was doing, I think. Where is his house? There? I think this is his house over here. He ran upstairs. He ran... Um... What did you say to my son? He ran upstairs crying and, and locked the door behind him. Um... I... He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. I, I swear. If you did anything to hurt him, I will... Oh, sorry. So, that's how it is. So, he got the weaker starter, and you beat him in battle. Uh, hmm, I see. That explains it. You know what, I'm, I'm going to quit the accent and just read this. A harsh lesson, to be sure. But losing it. Losing is as much a part of being a trainer as winning. He had his heart set on this this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. Still, crime won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo! Come downstairs right now, young man. Theo, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. That's just part of being a trainer. Bub bub. It isn't fair. Time Owl got the better starter in me. Now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin, son. No son of mine gives up. That's what he's saying. Sniff. Yes, sniff. Yes, dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. Uh, so, try and be strong for yourself, okay? Time out. Please be patient with my son. He looks up to you. You know that, right? Right? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I, I nearly forgot, Time Out. Theo, I have something for both of you. 
L like a present, Dad? Yeah, yes, exactly, Theo. Time out. Your father, Kellen, sent me these. I don't know why he didn't send them to you, because it makes complete sense if he were to send it to you. But he sent these to me and told me to give them to both of both of you when you began your journeys. I'm sure it will come in useful at some point in time. A, a Pokepod? What's that? It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool! <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours time now. I'm going to go meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first to catch a Pokemon. Just wait and see, Time Now. Bye bye, Dad. Keep up, Time Now. <laughs> well, talk about a dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. That's what I said when I dropped him as a child. Wait. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that while you were still here, Time Owl. Um, you don't want to keep the professor waiting. You, you should hurry along. So, get moving. Um, I won't see you or Theo again for some time, correct? You see, I, I, I'm starting a new job soon, and I don't need the distractions of my son... Asking me questions and it'll just be bothersome supervising him and a construction project at the new power plant, Epsilon, you see. Perhaps I'll, I'll see you there in time, but just don't bring Theo, of course, right? You understand that, right, Time Now? After all... It's the last place that Lucille was ever seen. So, maybe we will see you. Best of luck on your journey time now. That was an interesting conversation. Apparently, you can't pass behind the tree. Okay, that's gonna frustrate me. Frustrate me. Frustrate me. What's frustration? I don't know. What is frustration? Is it like frustration, only fustier? Hey there, Time Owl. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a field researcher and unpaying intern of mine. I mean, field research aid. That's exactly what you are. Now, watch closely. See? Wild Pokemon are in the grass. You probably already know. And, and you're ready to catch some, aren't you? But that that's the only place you can find them. Is But that's not the only place you can... Sorry, I'm trying to improvise too much and it's not working out. But that's not the only place. You can also find them in caves, in water, and even in cities, if you know where to look. Still, tall grass is going to be your best bet for finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps in and... Look, it's a wild Geodemonk! They're very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance. 
Go, Elatux! This little guy was the other starter Pokemon you could have received. I think he's... I think he's taken a shine to me. And, uh, as a responsible scientist, of course, I'm going to take him as my own instead of leave him for the next uh, research aid that needs a Pokemon, of course. And I rather like him, too. So I'm going to keep him all to myself. I just said that, I could swear. Now, the next step is to weaken the enemy Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Alatux, use Tackle! Kim! I guess that's the sound that a Chena Monk makes. Kim! Now that it's weakened, now's my chance to catch it. Pokeball, go! Because everybody yells Pokemon. <laughs> Pokeball, go! When they throw a Pokeball for the first time. And that's how it's done. Now, Chin and Monk are fairly easy. Um, that's an awkward sentence. Chin and Monk are fairly easy to catch. Oh well. But you're sure to encounter Pokemon that are a lot harder to capture. For those, you might need to inflict them with status effects or use a special Pokeball. Ah, but uh, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. Before too long, anyway. Time out. Theo, these are for you. That Pokedex is an encyclopedia. Oh, or maybe I would be better comparing it to a smartphone and it Googles Pokemon for you. So, yes, it's an encyclopedia that you have probably never heard of because you're 10 years old and 10 year olds don't use encyclopedias anymore. It will automatically update itself whenever you encounter or catch a new Pokemon. It's very important for my research, so make sure you fill it out as much as possible. Also, I want you to have these. Yay, I have Pokeballs! Pokeballs are necessary for catching Pokemon. Of course. Um, what's that? Uh, what's that thing the kids always say? Uh, gotta catch them all. Yes. If you run out, uh, you can pick up some at any Pokemon. With your own money, of course. I, I won't be footing the bill for your expenses. Just because you're one of my... Research aids doesn't give you benefits. I'm sorry. We just don't have the budget for that. Um, anyway, Moki Power Moki Town doesn't have one of those, but there's one at one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route One. So, with that said, your lesson is over now. Oh. Um, but you two have Pokepods, don't you? Oh, good. Here, put my number in there, and now I can call you whenever I need to give you mission. You can give me a call anytime as well, and I'll take a look at your Pokedex, or at how your Pokedex is coming, of course. If you do a good job collecting as many different types of Pokemon as you can, I might even have special rewards for you. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Um, best of luck on your journeys, both of you.
Wow, that's interesting. Time out! I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still gonna be the best trainer ever. I'll catch tons of Pokemon and we'll win every battle we come across. You just wait and see. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll be beating you probably the next couple half dozen times maybe that we meet ah uh, well we can finally read this sign so Kevlar or Mokitam that was not worth the wait why is there a log there Okay, so this must be the equivalent of the Viridian Woods. Nope, not at all. It's just Route 1. I got a potion. Okay. Before we continue any further, let's break this episode off here. Hope you... I hope that you guys like this. Um, I know last time I tried to do a voice for everybody, but that just, it hurt my voice, and I tried to do it this time, and no, it's just not going to work out. But uh, you can hear my regular voice, if you like that. Anyway, please like and subscribe. Comment down below if you like this content. Um, and I will see you on the next episode of Time Out Plays. Bye-bye.